How are you doing? How was your day at work? I hope you had a good day today. And the unemployed among us, let's be more patient, things will get better. In God's timing. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we share the word, there is someone who, who asked someone asked to give a testimony. Amen. 
ubushomeri kwisha utangire uhamye ubutsinzi bwawe ushima imana kwimana yumvye kandi imana yakoze amen abajene muraho uruziruko bite eh uruziruko rero tubafite inkuru nziza eh kuwa kabiri haja kuwa kabiri ni o event event com Eleven cinq, eleven cinq, twenty-five, twenty-fifth, twenty-fifth. Shall we say twenty-five? Just a bit Hari, abashit. So that we do fit in a quarter bit. You have a to your work. So that we are committed. Like when you have a job, fit. A material niro. New group. Yaba nu. Bavu ya muri university. Ya America. Muri Liberty University. Liberty University ni universite ikomeye cyane ba Virginia. Umukuru wayo ni ndi delegation ni yabajene nabandi bazaba baraho. Ikibazanye niki? Bafite imirimo yabo ariko natwe bivuje kudusura. Muri uko kwifuza kudusura rero. Eh bazaba bari kumwe nabaririmbyi babo bari kumwe abacuranga n'ibiki byose nsabe azaf Don't come to our corner now. Sit down. To our corner now, we are to your corner. I go to the corner. We are going 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 to the corner. Gorero urubyiruko muza muza muzabe muri benshi kuko ayo materaniro cyane arabareba eh nurubyiruko ruje ariko bari kumwe nawo bayobozi biyo universite ni universite nini cyane mu ma universite ya Kristo ndagira ngo ni iri mu universite akomeye muri America Francois uba muri ibyo bice imeziti yo universite irakomeye eh ngaho ivuga abapande wa ndagukunda wewe ugira boldness mu mpere Deka atubiri yao university ya kumecha. Uwondi university zawa kiristu zikunza kuwa rama seminari. Seminari no kufuga ama seminari. Kujia mungu. Kwa hige muli peti seminari grand. Seminari. Ari kuyonji yao ni university. No kufuga ili mungu ama disipulina yao se. Kandi nono ho ikabari university zawa kiristu. Ama disipulina na ama kifabu. Irimu ama fakirita tanuka. Ama fakirita tanuka. Uhum. Nungu harabiga matejeko, harabiga ya politiki, harabiga ubu inzi, harabiga ya jenisi biru buganga. Ibyo pyo sena ama fakirita tanuka yanebo nivesi. Yyo nivesi rila bifiteka nivesi wa chirisi. Uhum. Murabizi yuko ujimu presida wa chiri mo trofe. Uhum. Ashiti ya wa chirisi cha. Uhum. Muri yyo nivesi niwa ya tanje kapanye presida wa nivesi. Uwa mukole kwa kuchini, uyo university. Bitu mabatiri suwa sambora mene kwa mushiki. Yaba ya presidenta, ba tabi hizi, udia presidenta ni mani na mushiki, hutabari kuteje kuchawa. Ndavi hizi, abeni chipori mwe yomuza kutoa bangwa ratoi Clintoni. Hariko imani ya shata kutugira Trump ya abalua presidenta. Iyo universiteo ni aje ya 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 Omo presidenta universite, abajira, abajira, abafite influence nini, influence nini, abo na nava presidenta, presidenta wiki huko, nuko bishop Brownar ya wikukaji. Nuko muga reloko, iri universite, presidenta wa niba ashwara kuzahano, nifita mahiri. Kandi iri universite, kini kini kikome nuko, aba pili za vos, mwumura Amerika, aba fuga butu mwa vos, wafati yecho kuza kugiri za wanye shuri, kuri jihe mge, wakajiri yecho kuja mwenye shuri vos, 
muri auditorium kugira ngo abwize akaba CGJX bari yabose munsi baza mu university kugira ngo bahe ubutumwa bwiza abantu so president wa university no muntu ukomeye cyane muntu ukomeye kugiza amahirwa akomeye cyane ni imana dukiguri kugira ngo tuzaye mwabyumva rero abo bantu nibo bazaza hano bari kumwe na bajene bari kumwe nabandi bifuje kuza muri zayo abarize twabatumiye nti twabishobora batumiwe nabareshya nabo muranyumva okay dero abajene mubwire abandi bajene eh bazaza kubicisha kuma kuri bya bindi bya bya bindi bigezwe bya social media ama social media bamenyeshe mubwire urubyiruko rwa Kigali baze bumve bumve abandi bana bakijijwe aho bagabo bakijwe abahanga abanyabwenge bazatuganiriza hano kwa kabiri amateranye turashimira cyane pasteur John Rwiririza niwe abatozaje Nero ngui ngui sunze imfura imusi ifuru Rabzo Vanessa iyo wisunze imfura iyo wegereye imfura kuko imfura igira mata igira inka igira ekcetera mwene byo iyo yisize rero ni wicwa ninzara iguha akadete kamata iguye inkongoro ya mata ni yo furo iyo kaminka amata agira ifuro iyo furo rero iyo wisunze imfura igusiga iryo furo igusiga amata Murabuze mvuga cyo cyaka kuvuga. Rero dufite universite ya Kikivuka. None tugiye kwisunga iki? Imfura. Mwitegerere ico bita igisomero. Muzi gisomero. Ah. Abana bato ndi bazi gisomero. Iyo wanyo ya mata, amata sigara ku munwa. Nico bita igisomero. Muracyumva? Iyo wisunza imfura igusiga ifuro icyo ni igisomero gisigara bakamenya ko nawe wanyuye amata turizera rero ku universite yacu reka ndeke kuvuga hakiri kareta kareka mzihorere ariko hari ikimana izakora imana ishimwe amen e, dufite abana ba pastor bayingana na na, na kantengo asunta ndagira ngo bahaguruke prince na maxine muhaguruke wabareba abo bakobwa abo bana bombi ni impanga ntabwo baherutse karibu sa imani baho mugisha abo na bana bacu nabo barangije amashuri muri kaminuza ubwo batashye mubenguke ni mutuma bagenderaho ngaho kubenguka murabyize eh abageni nabakwi tagendera aho ngaho abonye bakobwa umukobwa mwiza n'umuhungu mwiza w'umuboga ari hariya doke tangira kubaza imana ni niba ijisho rya yogerekeye hariya eh amen aba pasteli bacu batuzaniye abana muri kiruhuko dufite na David David nawe haguruka bakure David nawe nundi muboga ari hariya wa pasta leonardo imani kumugisha imani shimwe amen nange nazanya banje hey hari babiri muri uyu mugoroba dufite luka na elisha ndagira ngo nawe muhaguruke babare muhinduke mu pepe itore okay murakoze cyane nawe bawe wazanye ni bahaguruke muri uyu mugoroba tubare Yes shibe uwazanya abana muri uyu mugoroba ni bahaguruke tubakire nabo Aha turamubonye hari uyu musore wacu hariya Dorabandi yari mwakwede cyane babye kutuzanira abana imana bamugisha Amen mwakoze kuza muri uyu mugoroba eh Sinzi impamvu dusiga abana bacu gutya Twe tukaza kumva inyigisho zo mu mugoroba bo tukabasiga 
farao yabwiye Musa bati ibi bihano ngubise abisiraeli ndabarekuye ariko tunegosi sigira abana genda naba basaza nabakecyura umwese mugende mu mujye gukorera imana yanyu ariko sigira abana kunze kuza mu biterane abana twumva ko baza ku cyumweru gusa ariko no mu migoro babana bakeneye ijambo ry'imana mwakoze rero abatuzaniye abana muduha amashi ke twazanye abana ni muduhama mwako de chat amen turimo turaganira ijambo mu gitabo cy'abacamanza bivuga ngo mu bano cyangwa se kubana kw'ikibinikiza we have been looking at the series the cohabitation between evil and good from the book of judges niho tukiri We're still in the book of Judges. Mugice cha gatatu. And we're still reading from chapter 3. Abachamanzi bice bitatu. Judges chapter 3. Umurongo eh wa mbere. Verse 1. Eh no kumurongo geza kumurongo wa gatatu. We're reading up to verse 3. Cha katurangize kwa gatandatu ka gace kose. We will read up to verse 6 if you may. Ayo mahanga ari uwiteka yari yarekeye yari yarekeye kugira ngo ayageragereshe abisiraeli. Cyane cyane abatamenye intambara zose zikana kugira ngo abo ibihe bya abisiraeli byose bamenyerezwe intamba. Kuko muri bo hari mwa bari batazi uburyo bwa muri ayo mahanga hari mu abatware b'intebe batanu baba Filistia abanyakanani bose abasidoni abahivi bo ku musozi wa Lebanon uhereye ku musozi baliheru moni ukageza mu irasukiro ry'ihamati ariko barekeye kugira ngo bagerageza abisirayeli kumenya ko bakwe mera kwitondera amategeko uwiteka yategekesheje base kuruza ururi mirwa mose nuko abisirayeli baturana nabanyakana ni nabaheti nabamori nabaferezi nabahivi nabayebusi barashingirana kandi bakorera imana za Now these are the nations which the Lord left that he might test Israel by them that is all who had not known any of the wars in Canaan This was only so that the generations of the children of Israel might be told to know war at least those who had not formerly known it namely five lords of the philistines or the canaanites the sidonians and the hivites who dwelt in mount lebanon from mount baal hermon to the entrance of hamath and they were left that he might test israel by them to know whether they would obey the commandments of the lord which he had commanded their fathers by the hand of moses Thus the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites. And they took their daughters to be their wives and gave their daughters to their sons and they served their gods. Amen. Amen. Bibiliya itubwira Uite kama ze guha abisiraeli igihugu cy'amasezerano. The Bible tells us that when the Lord had given the Israelites the promised land by his choice and his will there are some nations he left among us the Israelites to coexist with them Israel Israel had a living God imana ikora The God who used to work Imani fuga the God who used to speak Imana yaremye the God who created Imani tanga ubugingo the God who gives life Imana inyuranya ibihe the God who will move seasons and times Imana imana uri mfura nizuwa mu bihe byabyo the God who gives rain and sunlight in its due time Nuko ngo Imana ibeshaho the God who causes things to live Andi mahanga The other nations had gods that couldn't speak but amongst those gods who couldn't speak there were demonic spirits operating there in those spirits of 
which operated behind their idols these were spirits that led them to idol or satanic worship now these are the nations they had gods that couldn't speak they had gods that couldn't see they had gods that couldn't move they had gods that couldn't breathe because they were carved from wood they had eyes but couldn't see they had ears but couldn't hear they had hands but couldn't work they had legs but couldn't walk these are things they chose to worship because Satan because Satan is always on the lookout for any object that he can put his spirit on and then people can worship him so he was coming through this idol worship and the people worshipped him there are times God will put on the flesh and dwell with men and Satan will do the same and be with men so sometimes Satan can borrow the flesh or he can borrow objects and people worship him the first example is when he borrowed the body of the snake so that he could speak to Eve and the next example is when he borrowed the sun and the moon and the stars that people may worship him Satan can use trees and people worship under trees or to trees and sometimes he can borrow the flesh of men and people will be filled with his spirit and serve his will one of the things that God had told the Israelites from the book of Deuteronomy 18 when they were being reminded of the laws before they entered Canaan the Bible says once you get to that land you will not do as the people of the land do let me, show you. Let me show you what God was telling them to watch out for. Deuteronomy 18 verse 9 Verse 9 Changwa uragurishi bichu Changwa umufumu Changwa umurozi Changwa umambuzi Changwa ushikisha Changwa uragurira Ibiza ababahu Changwa umushitsi Kuko ukoribzo wesi Ari kiziru iteka yangurunuka Kandi Ibzo bizira Nibzo bitumye uiteka imana yawe Iziru kana yomahangi mbere yawe Utunga nirgose Kuiteka imana yawe Kukwe yo mahanga uza hindura Yumvira abaragurishi vichu Nabafumu Ariko weho Uite kimana yawe Tigu kundira kugenzu tiyo Uite kimana yawe Izaba haguru kilizu muhanu zume zenganji Uko moza agati murimwe Murime ene wanyo Azaba liwe mumvira when you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall learn, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices witchcraft or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells or a medium or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination.
abomination to the Lord, and because of these abominations of the abominations, the Lord your God drives them out before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess, listen to the soothsayers and diviners. And, but as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren. Him you shall hear. Ah, uh, imana irabu irabu siraeri imamfu ikuye awave neki hugu mugi hugu chabo ikakiba. Bibi irabu ifuka. God is telling us through the scriptures why God is giving the Israelites the capacity to dispossess these nations from the land. Imamfu. The why? reason, the reason. Iyomamfu ni yihe. What is the reason? Ngwabari muri chogi hugu. The people in the land. Wakorira satan. They serve satan. Nibari rero bakorera satan. So if they serve satan. Mwebwe mbahaye uburenganzira mugende mubirukane. Hanyuma mu muri chogi hugu. I have given you the authority, the right to go and dispossess the land from them because they have served Satan. And if you do the same, someone else will dispossess you. Do we get this point? When you reach in this land, the land I give you, do not learn their customs because they are sorcerers and they practice witchcraft. They are soothsayers. They interpret omens and their mediums. They conjure spirits, they are spiritists, and they call up the dead. They call up ghosts and they answer. Because they want to know the future. And these things are abominations. When you reach in the promised land, watch out that you do not do the same. I will raise a prophet among you. If you so desire to know what is from God and the future, He will direct you, but do not go and practice abominations. Information is easy. When information comes, we pay attention to the information based on the source of information. Where the information comes from. It is what is valued more than the information itself. So what is coming from God is more valuable than what comes from Satan. Israel is working with God. And these nations in Canaan are with Satan. God is telling them go to that land. Dispossess the land. And once you have done it, you will possess and have dominion in the land. You will dwell in the land. It will be your land. Then, preach the gospel. Show God to them, that people may see God for who he is. That your neighbors may know God. This is what God told them. But watch out. Because they serve other gods. And all these other gods, all these other idols, they are under the mighty living God. Because we cannot get this. How you can seek for power. But you seek for power from an object that is lesser than the supreme one. Because the power of God. The power of Jesus. Is supreme over that of Satan. Over those of demons. And over those who are used by Satan. Above what Satan does. So Israel. When you reach there. 
dominate. Dominate. Because if you have me, you have power. He who is in you is greater than he who is in them. Dominate them. Do not be dominated by them. Because your power is superior. Your authority is superior. Your power is greater. And they are lesser than you. There is nowhere where someone is lesser will direct the greater. Or the weak above the stronger. The stronger is always in lead. The stronger will lead the weaker. So I give you the land and the Bible says because of God's will and sovereignty he kept the nations amidst them because he enabled them to overcome them but for his divine purposes he says I will let them cohabitate with Israel evil and good will cohabitate darkness and light will cohabitate water and salt will cohabitate we will see what will dominate over the other we will see what will be stronger Every 
Every plague was addressing a specific Egyptian god. And every plague that Moses performed, it was a lesson to Pharaoh and the Egyptians that his god was stronger than that specific god. The tenth plague was to kill the firstborn son. Why? The firstborn was the one who would become the Pharaoh. And Pharaoh was God. Imana irareba ngo umuntu ndiyakomeza gutya ngo agire imyaka yirambire mu murubu bubi. Ba 
man will not have such a longevity and live they will kill and destroy each other so I will reduce their years of life they were reduced in the time of Noah men committed wicked sins and God says I will not fight with man I will not contend I will reduce their years and he gave them 120 years live 120 and sin as much as you can and they kept sinning and God chose Abraham and sent him to a world that was full of wickedness till the time of Moses when Moses reached the wilderness God saw the wickedness of all the nations around Israel and he told Moses I'm, I'm going to reduce because man is so wicked now we're reducing from 120 to at least 70 those who will do maximum it will be 80 what is this meaning? the years of wickedness don't go beyond 80 someone could be bad but at 80 they die or they lose the strength to continue being wicked the years of wickedness don't go beyond 70 actually it doesn't happen
Israel witnessed God leading them through the Red Sea. And the Egyptian gods couldn't do the same for Pharaoh and his armies. And the Amalekite gods could not save the Amalekites at the hands of Moses. So God gave them the land. Once he gave them the land, because of his sovereignty, he said, I'm leaving nations near them just so I can test their hearts. I need to test them. Why does God allow evil and good to cohabit? Good people and bad people to cohabitate. Number one. To test the hearts of the good. To test the faith of the righteous. For God to see you for who you are. And then be able to trust you. In the time of Job, God told Satan, Have you seen my servant who is faithful and righteous? Job? In the time of Job, he was righteous. You 
your enemy, your bad neighbor, the problem you have in your life, it is meant to measure. God uses them to balance and measure and weigh your growth, your spiritual growth. If you're declining spiritually, if you're developing, if you're getting the whole point, God will pay them and reward them for being your thermometer. Hagar. Hagar. Came near Sarah. Kugirongo imani balance. For God to test the faithfulness of Abraham towards his wife and the faithfulness of Sarah towards her husband. Hagar. Hagar. Hagar introduced to us another side of Abraham that we didn't know. And she also introduced another side of Sarah that we didn't know. If we didn't have Hagar in the story, and they lived together faithfully until when they had Isaac. And If, if Hannah didn't have Penina, she wouldn't have known and discovered that she was an intercessor. But because of Penina, she learned how to pray. And today you are in this church. Maybe you're part of the intercession department because you have a Penina in your life. Thank God for the Peninas in your lives. You were a great intercessor, but you didn't know until Penina showed up in your life. And the day she showed up in your life, you learned how to pray. So good and evil have to cohabitate. Do we get this principle? Yes. If David didn't have Goliath, he would have died as a young shepherd boy back in the forest. But because of Goliath, he faced him, he talked to him, and his valor was exposed because he met Goliath. If there was no Goliath, if there was no Penina, if there was no Hagar, we would have never known the power in these people. Do we get this principle? God could have easily driven out these nations. He could have easily chased them away. He could have easily destroyed them. But he kept them just so he could test, could balance, could measure the faith of the Israelites. And in the end, we know what happened with the Israelites. Nonumunu ya kuibazango, nirgyari, nirgyari, 
turi kumwe penina zagenda so we can have ibyo byose hagomba kugenda ni byari hagara azatuvira mu mayira ni byari gori yatazapfa ah icyakabiri icyo tugiye kuvuga kwiga intambara we can ask we can ask ourselves this monumental question when will goliath die when will Penina move out of our lives? When will Hagar move out of our houses? It leads me to my second point, learning how to fight. Amen. Amen. Niba imana yanze kwirukana Penina, rero yugomba kwiga intambara ukazamwirukana. If God has refused to remove Penina, you have to learn how to fight and deal with Penina yourself. Nibi mana yanze kwikana Goliath ugomba kurwana kubufite umuhemu umuhumetso nibuye kugira ngo uzatere Goliath If God has refused to remove Goliath you have to learn how to use your slingshot and your stone and kill him <laughs> Goliath ni ntabwo ari umupeti numujea Goliath is not a small boy he's a giant Agomba gukubitswa no wigishijwe urugamba He will deal with people who know how to fight Iyo si ntambara yakanwa ni ntambara y'umwuka ikomeye ukubita satani akavuga ngo ah uyu muntu arakomeye This is not a battle of words it's a battle of action where you hit the devil and he easily accepts defeat Umva rero impamvu ya kabiri Second reason God will allow the nations to stay or these enemies to stay for two reasons the first to test our faith to test our hearts and the second reason to teach us how to fight Verse 2 Judges 3 verse 2 Nukugira ngo abi bihemza abisraeli byose bamenyerezwe intambara kuko muri bo harimo abari batazi uburyo bwazo The Bible says this was only so that the generations of the children of Israel might be taught to know war at least those who had not formerly known it Turumvikanye Do we get this Ah this is a treasure point this is very crucial ariko ntabwo ndagiye ngo ndabivuga ku cyumweru ruko maybe i'll talk about it in detail on sunday eh hari amoko muri bibiliya ane amahanga haru aba filistia abanyakanani abasidoni nabahivi aya moko kwarane bibiliya yatu iratubwira ku murongo wa wa gatatu ngo muri ayo mahanga harimo abatware bintebe batano baba filisti abanyakanani abasidoni nabahivi aya moko kwarane ngo imana iyasiga kugira ngo bakoreraho pratique yo kumenya kurwana there are four groups or four categories or four nations that God left in the land so that the Israelites could practice war and these are the five lords of the Philistines the Canaanites the Sidonians and the Hivites Ariko umva munsi but listen just beneath Amoko yabanye n'abisrael ari aye ya mbere tuvuze nayo bagombaga kwigiraho kurwana babana batari bazurugamba Ariko bo bagomba kubana nabo kugira ngo bazarwane neza ni ku munongo wa gatano ngo baturana n'abanyakanani baturana n'abaheti baturana n'abamore baturana n'abaferezi baturana n'abahivi baturana n'abayebusi amoka tandatu aya niyo bagombaga igiye cyose kurwana nabo ariko ari ya yandi kwarane yari pratique inda the first group or the first category of four nations that I just mentioned God gave them to the Israelites to practice how to fight with them but when you read verse 5 the Bible says that they dwelt among us the Canaanites the Hittites the Amorites the Perizzites the Hivites the Jebusites six nations whom they would constantly fight uyu mukobwa waje gutanga ubuhamya yavuze ko ari makora stage ahantu the young lady who came to give to give a testimony she said she's doing an internship somewhere. Kandi yo stage 
ijanye nibza shima nibza kunda imana imuhaye umugisho yahabona nakazi kuko nibza kunda and that internship is based on the things she loves the things she has a passion for if god blesses her she will even get a job in that organization what is internship internship is a place you are told ashobora nahava kuzakora kazi ahandi hesh she can work in any other place but she has been told first trained uriya mukobwa ibyo aziga muri iriya stage aziga kumenya uko abantu babana uko bakora amatiku amenye uko babose bitwara amenye uko bari munsi bitwara amenye udutiku two muri organization ejo najya muhinda avuga ati aka kana kore narakabonye hari urumva nta kirimo no vice su umuntu utangiye akazi afite aka experience agiye kujyana hari ari ya moko atanda turero yarayo gukina yaramoko yo kurwana ariko rabanje gutozwa nabami batano ba Filisti Now this young lady will be trained she'll know how the bosses act with the employees she will know how the employees talk how things are dealt in the office in the office place that the time she gets a real job she will remember based on the experience she got from the internship how to conduct herself it's the same with the israelites these four nations were for practice but the six nations that we read on verse 5 were the real deal murabzumva bene data do you get the whole point muri makere briefly iman god tirukanye amaha did not send away these nations he asked that they send them away he asked them, if you want peace if you want security if you want to develop if you want to be powerful if you want to dwell in that place wake up and fight back and send your enemies away wirukana ibikubuza umuteka send away things that are taking your security wirukana ibituma utanezerwa the things that take your joy wala ana yagombaga kwanga ibiryo abandi babitetse bagiye mu minsi mikuri shiro bagateka inkono zuzuye inyama nibindi wakanga kurya kubera iki ari mu rugamba agomba kurwana kugeza abonye samwe ariko nahera kubitoki nubunyobwa hagakomeza kunyama nubugari akarangiza kumumbati na mata azabyara rya Hana had to refuse eating she had to bypass the food they had prepared when they had gone to Shilo because she knew the battle she was fighting she knew what she wanted she wanted her Samuel but if she had just ate the meat and ate the rice and ate all the things available when would she have gotten her son The people who came in this land for every generation They had to be told how to fight. Why were they told to Because they were living with their enemies. Every child has to go through the army. In Israel till today since then iyo mwana arangije secondaire amashuri ya secondaire when a child finishes high school in israel they join the army agira mu imyaka ingahe itatu abagabo itatu abakobwa ibiri n'igice abakobwa bagira ibiri n'igice abahungu bakagira imyaka itatu mbere yuko uja muri university before you go to the university young men spend three years in the army young women spend two years and a half warangis When you finish you join the university then you are part of the reserve forces of Israel Once some months you join for a week or a given time for retraining why refresher courses why Israel Israel is surrounded by Syria Syria doesn't love Israel. 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 Izengurutswe na 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 Egypt. Is surrounded by Egypt. Na Lebanon. And Lebanon. Na Arabi Saudi. And Saudi Arabia. Na 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 Jordania. And Jordan. Iruhande kwa hari Iraq na Iran. And there is Iraq and Iran nearby. Kiti akatori Afghanistan. And there is Afghanistan nearby. Izo ni bihugu byose bibaka. They all hate Israel. Population of Israel. The population of Israel is not even 10 million. Kandi yatuvuga bis 
Israel. Harimu wa Yuda na Israel. And when we talk about Israel, we talk about Jews and Israelis. Who are the Jews and who are the Israelis? The Israelis. The Israelis are anyone who has a nationality. This includes Arabs and anyone else who has moved there and obtained an Israeli passport. In the parliament we have Israelis. Now this includes Arabs. In the army we have Israelis. This includes Arabs. These Israelis, it's the general group, but there are also Jews. Dero, bama ze kumona, no mugi sirikare chavu. Kirimu wa bisirai baba arabu. Babi ki mugi tondo kime adu. No nesaru mvabi shemene wa wache chike ngonunu muisirai. Burja maraso arare mera kuruta mazi. Now, when they saw that even in the army they have Israelis, Arab Israelis, these could one morning wake up and become enemies because blood is thicker than water. They come and tell Pastor Charles. They tell Pastor Safari. And Pastor so and so. It was 
was a shame igitangaza tibarebye umurambo wa minister bagiye kubaza se na nyina w'umwana ngo bishoboka they did not look at the prime minister who was dead they went to visit the family of that young man and asked the father and the mother how could your son dare to kill another jew ewe kiwabwi umwana wa gaciro ku muyuda you have never taught your children the value of jews bishoboka gute umwana wa how can your son dare kill another jew yicu muyuda kill a jew kituvuga minister nituvuga ibyo nibindi icyo nindi case ariko umuyuda we will not talk about the prime minister who is dead we're talking about a fellow jew who is murdered they asked the young man young man what took you how can you kill a jew and he said i was angry because he's selling our land what and to you the solution was to kill him you haven't read our ethics and values as jewish people this this amazed the jews in that time why they they have so many enemies that they need people to kill the enemies not to kill each other israel is israel is surrounded by enemies they hate them and every morning all these other nations are around 300 million in population and others are just 11 million How can they fight 300 million? They are not even a tenth of the military. They have all been trained be the old women the old men they have all been through the army and they are always ready to fight if anything could happen all of them are ready to take their machine guns and fight back But as the land is full of civilians They can't even fire a stone through a slingshot like them. You can't fight with a stick moreover a gun and then you think you'll protect the nation how we need to join the army all of us This country is on the journey of developing itself and it's surrounded by nations that are still impoverished. Don't think we will have it easy. One day they will rise against us. It's not the army alone that will fight back. Every Rwandan will have to fight back. Not that you will all have weapons. But you will know how to speak for your nation. You will know how to speak and beg for the peace of your nation. That's fighting. We fight in different ways. There are those who fight in diplomacy. There are those who fight in peace. There are those who fight in good things. This is what Israel has done. Instead of learning how to fight. They said we will marry their daughters, they will not kill their nephews and their nieces. Once we have shared blood with these other nations, they will not attack us. Now the nations they say Jews are marrying these foreign 
nations. Listen, my brother. We will see their God. So they say they told their daughters, We're going to have a bridal shower for you. We're going to shower you. This is what you're going to do. When you go to that household, take seven idols in that house. By the time they reach the seventh idol, they will have given up. Take, and, take seven idols in the house. And you know the power of women, yeah. right? A woman in the name of affection, your wife will make you eat things you have never imagined eating. You will complain but eat the meal she serves you. Example Typical example, Adam <laughs> ate the fruit. He had refused to eat the fruit. And when they came from the field, Eve refused to cook. Darling, why haven't you cooked? I have brought fruits. We will eat fruits tonight. Adam asked, what fruits? Adam looks at the fruits and says, Darling, how can you bring this? God refused us to eat these fruits. And Eve says, I'm so tired. If we don't eat the fruits, we will not eat tonight. When it was bedtime, she chose to sleep down and she refused to sleep with her husband. Darling, what's your problem? I've realized you don't love me. Nick. Why? Why? <laughs> I will only believe that you love me if you eat the fruit. <laughs> the tears of your wife at 2 a.m. in the morning. Few men can put up with the tears of a woman at 2 a.m. And all the tears have something else to do with everything else I will not mention here tonight. Three months you will give in and say, I'll eat the fruit. You eat the fruit, though you don't want, but you still eat the fruit. In the name of peace, you eat the fruit. No, 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 no,
none tubigeze bati ndaguha mayeri we wecheceka turabohereza mu bakobwa bacu iyo yari strategy ya Balaam This was the strategy of Balaam when Bela called him and asked him to cast the Israelites he couldn't cast them and then Bela said now you have not cast them what shall we do and Balaam said I'll teach you a strategy we will give them our daughters in marriage and they will fall Kuchimvuka you strategy abako Why am I underlining this strategy Nuko kesh It is because most times abako bagira imbaraga zo kwanga kurusha abahu The girls have the power to refuse than the boys. Young men easily cave in. They easily give up, but if a girl doesn't want you, you will beg and beg and beg and she will not accept. Then atira bahungu benshi bagira umutima mwiza. Uwa musekera gusagira ngo wamukunze. Eje agahita kwandikira ngo tuzahurira ahantu guseka gusa. Donc ntibazi guseka ku rukundo no guseka ko gukina no guseka ku bishuko no guseka kwa kitani no guseka ku imana byose barabivanga bakumva ari guseka kwa byabindi Kuri kwa bahungu bamese By nature men easily cave in they easily give up all you need to do is to smile and they will follow they will do anything you want they will think you are willing to go out with them just because you smiled but for a girl you need to beg Umuhuko bwihagutse aba ngo uriya muhunga za nterinda aruhuka yimuteye ariko na mukobwa na muhungu wagukwa ngo nzatera uriya mukobwa ina ngo bipfe gucaba A girl can wake up one morning and say he's going to get me pregnant and she will do everything possible until she gets pregnant by a certain young woman a certain young man but no young man can say I'll get her pregnant and have it happen easily it doesn't happen like that Bashiki bacu sibyo Is any true our sisters Our brothers is it true? Oya niko bimera. By the truth. Abakobwa bihagarara ariko abahungu zike. Females easily say no but males is the giving. Balam abalak balam abira balak bati humura amafaranga ntawe ngifite ariko nzi uko satan ikora. Nakora nyine kirere nararaguje nararaguje nzi aho aho faiblesse z'abahungu ziri gufata abakobwa bose babamo wabo mufata abakobwa bose bari mubohereze mu makambi ya Israel bisize neza bakubisinzara imisatsi bamba yitumini bahurira n'abakobwa babo biyorosa kugeza mu maso bakagera hari ahasi ariko bagende bamba yose ati ndababwiza ukuri abahungu uzi wa mbere wagize ngo baje ngo mure wahitara mucakirwa Balaam said I'll teach you a principle send out all our daughters the, the daughters of the Moabites let them go there naked let them take care of themselves and go in their camps and you know what happened it's the Levite who took one of these daughters first who is the Levite the Levite The Levite was the wrong model of the whole community. Eh? Aba sore bose bati eh pasiteri. Ya bikoze eh eh ewa. Turongora ba muwa bukazi baruzura muri Israel. Amaze ngo ibyago birabinjira. Ubwoko bwa ari hafi kwinjira ikanani. Buhura n'ibyago. Kugeza igiye Imana yabwiye Musa. Bati turashite. Hahaguru kundi murewe. Mukigaya amaza abantu bantu bapfuye ibizago byabinjiyemo undaraza ariruka asanga umuntu aryamye mu ihema no mu mwa bukazi amukubi icumu rimu ingo urira mufata na wa mugore ryinjira mu ihema hasi ngo burakari bw'Imana burahagarara It was so bad that when they saw the Levites take a Moabites all the young men took in all these foreign women and when they did so a plague attacked the Israelites and the anger of the lord was kindled against them it required another levite to come with a sword and pierce the levite who was laying with a moabite woman to stop the plague bavandimwe brethren satan satan yarazi kwa abahungu nabakobwa bagiye kwigishwa urugamba kugira ngo bazaneshe bari nabo barabatanga Satan knew that these young men and their daughters were going to be taught how to fight so he advanced before they did anything. Intego nyamukuru ni yihe yo kwigishwa intamba. What is the first purpose of learning how to fight? Tuzabiganira ku cyumwe. 
We will learn that on Sunday. May God bless you. May God strengthen you. May God support you. Let's fight and win. Let's win in the name of Jesus. If you may rise and we pray. In this moment, we want us to pray and divorce the Amorite and the people we dwell with. Oh, yes, 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 Mana tu rasa imbara gaza, mana tu rasa uba shabga, butu neshesha, butsi nda zata, butsi ni kuzimu, butsi ni zombara gaza osa. Data, reka mahora ya, reka mu nubuga, imano kemi tuwe, butu giri eneza data, butu ya butsi nda, igi ya chose, ichiza, kineshi kibi, umucho, uneshumi shima, urakwa taka mi tu kore ya, iki chuma ya chose tu umujisha, tu dongere kuna na. Tuligushimire ni mwizi na rja Yesu Amen Ama shini mwundu kwa Yesu mwami wachu Mutahane na Yesu Ima ni wakile neza Karibu kuchu mwere See you on Sunday morning Ni mwundu